Hello friends. Now today we are going to discuss a new interesting topic of a graph theory that is a graph coloring. Okay. So first we are, first of all we discuss about what is a graph coloring. Okay. And then how we find out a, gra a color of a graph by a, a concept called as a chromatic number. Okay. Then so first of all we discuss about the graph coloring concept. So the assignment of colors or assigning of colors to the vertices of G one color to each vertex so that the adjacent vertex assign different colors means uh, different colors is called proper coloring of G or simple vertex coloring. This means that for in, in a graph we have a sum n number of vertices and we have to paint all the n vertices such that that no two adjacent vertex have the same color. If this property is continue then this properties or this process is called graph coloring or, or proper coloring of graph G. Now we are painting the graph or we are painting the n number of vertices for a particular graph with the help of a concept called as a chromatic number. So first of all we discuss about the chromatic number and then we find out that how we use this chromatic number to find out the color of a particular graph. So a chromatic number of a graph G is called M chromatic. It's called M chromatic if it requires exactly M colors to paint it properly. Properly means that no two adjacent vertex having the same color. Okay. Or we can say that G cannot be painted properly with less than M colors. And the number M is called the chromatic number of a graph G. So the M is the minimum number of colors we are using. We are used to paint a graph properly with a condition that that a no two adjacent vertex have the same color then that m number of colors are called chromatic number for that particular graph or the whole process is called the graph coloring so in this video i am just covering about the observations or uh, some formula by, by which we can find out the chromatic number for a particular graph and the next video we take some example that how we find out the chromatic number so the first observation of the chromatic number is that a graph containing only one edge, only one edge means like this A and B. So this is a graph in which we are having a one edge and having two vertices. But these two vertices are adjacent to each other because it have a common edge. So to paint this graph, we have to consider minimum number of colors to paint it that A, either A vertex having a color called green and the vertex B having a color yellow, okay, or some different color. So to paint this graph properly, properly means that the no two adjacent vertex have the same color. So to graph this to paint it, uh, paint this graph, so we, we require two colors to paint it properly. So a graph containing a one edge is two chromatic because the M number, because the M here is two, because we are having uh, two different colors to paint it, to paint this graph. So this is a, if a graph containing a one edge, so it's a two chromatic or you can say bichromatic. Second is, a graph with no edge. A graph with no edge. This means a vertex is a isolated vertex. Isolated vertex. Isolated vertex is a vertex we are in which we are uh, in which we do not have any edge. Suppose if this vertex is called A. So this is an isolated vertex. So a graph with no edge. That means an isolated uh, vertex is one chromatic because because we are having only single color, for example, G, we are having only single color to paint it properly. Okay, so this is called one chromatic if the graph having no edge or you can say isolated vertex. If a graph having one edge, then it is called two chromatic. The next observation is that, third observation is, if a graph is a complete graph, complete graph means a graph having vertices, all the vertices are connected to each other. So a complete graph of n vertices is n chromatic. Why is it, why is it is so? Because suppose if we are taking an example like this A, B and C. Here n is 3. This graph is complete. Why? Because all the vertices are connected to each other. So 
to paint this complete graph having three vertices and all the vertices are adjacent to each other so we are we have to require three means m is three because because we are having or we require three colors to paint it properly for ex example this is red green and yellow so all they are all vertices having a different color so a complete graph having an n vertices is having n chromatic okay so these are thirteen third observation the next observation is uh, for any graph g uh, having a maximum degree which we are shown by delta so the chromatic number for this this is degree maximum degree max degree for a particular graph g then the chromatic number is defined as x of g is less than or equal to 1 plus del of g as the chromatic number is defined as x of g equals to m x of g is the chromatic number of G is equal to M, where M is a minimum number of colors to paint the graph. So, a maximum degree, a graph having a maximum degree, which we are shown by delta. So, the chromatic number is less than or equal to 1 plus del of G. The next observation is for any graph G with a minimum degree, which we are represented by rho. So, minimum degree. Then the chromatic number will be represented as X of G is greater than or equal to N upon n minus rho of g so this is how we calculate the chromatic number for if in which uh, with the condition of minimum daily okay and the last observation is if g has no complete graph complete graph of delta g plus 1 vertex then the chromatic number of for that graph is x of g is greater than or equal to delta of delta g so these are some observations of chromatic number and chromatic number is a concept of graph coloring so i hope you understood all these concepts and in my next video i'm using all these concepts and take some one or two examples to find out the uh, chromatic number or you can say to find out uh, the minimum number of colors to paint a graph properly so uh, keep watching our video thank you so much